Hello Kimi Lovers, I am the Dr. Bere and this is your Space Kimi Candle con la Dra. Bere. Today we're going to explore the fascinating science behind food allergies together. Did you know that sometimes your immune system can mistake food for an invisible enemy? Well, in this video we'll see what happens in our bodies when we react to certain food, how these reactions are detected and what we can do to better understand them. So, put on your safety goggles and join me on this fascinating scientific journey. Let's start by understanding what a food allergy is. A food allergy occurs when the immune system reacts exaggeratedly to proteins found in certain foods, such as milk, eggs, nuts, or shellfish. It's important to distinguish allergies from food intolerances because even though both can cause discomfort, their causes and risks are different. Food intolerance mainly affects the digestive system and doesn't involve the immune system. Symptoms are usually digestive, like abdominal pain, bloating, or gas. And while uncomfortable, they are generally not dangerous. On the other hand, a food allergy means your body perceives a food protein and as enemy. This triggers the immune system to activate special cells and antibodies called imjanoglobulin E, which can release histamine and other chemicals. As a result, Symptoms can range from mild, like itching, sneezing, or hives, to severe, including difficulty breathing or even anaphylaxis, which requires immediate medical attention. Understanding this difference not only helps us identify and prevent risks, but also allows us to make safer decisions about our diet and the diet of those around us. Now. Let's see how the body responds to a food allergy. When someone has an allergy, the immune system produces antibodies called immunoglobulin E or IgE, which attach to a type of a cell called muscle cell. These cells contain chemicals like histamine responsible for many allergy symptoms. During the first exposure to the food, a process called sensitization occurs. IgE antibodies bind to muscle cells, preparing the body for future encounters. At this initial stage, they are usually not symptoms, but the body is learning to recognize the allergen. And the second exposure to the same foot, IgE antibodies recognize the protein and active all muscle cells. This release histamine and other substances causing typical allergy symptoms, such as itching, swelling, sneezing, skin redness, or digestive discomfort. This process explains why some reactions happen quickly, why others may appear minutes or even hours after eating the food. Additionally, the intensity of the reaction can vary between people and different foods, making each allergy unique. Food allergies can present a wide range of symptoms from mild to more serious. Mild and common symptoms include itchy skin, redness, small hives, sneezing, or mild digestive discomfort. These usually appear quickly and disappear when the triggering food is avoided. In some people, reaction can be more intense, causing swelling of the lips, tongue, or throat, difficulty swallowing or trouble breathing, which requires immediate medical attention. This is known as anaphylaxis, and while rare, it's important to recognize and act quickly and safety. The prevalence of food allergy has been increasing worldwide, affecting both children and adults though young children tend to have more cases. Food that most commonly trigger allergic reactions include milk, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish and fish. 
It's important to note that the symptom intensity can vary between individuals, even if they consume the same amount of food. Recognize the symptoms and the time allows for safe action, prevention of complication and guidance from healthcare professionals for proper management. To reliably identify a food allergy, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional. One of the most common methods is a skin prick test, where a small amount of the suspected food I apply it to the skin. If the skin reacts with redness as a small bump, it indicates the body recognizes the protein as an allergen. Another important tool is a blood test, which measures levels of IgE antibodies specific to certain foods. These results help confirm which foods may cause reaction and what degree. In some cases, a supervised elimination and reintroduction diet is used. This involves temporarily removing the suspected food from diet and then gradually reintroducing it under medical supervision, observing any reactions. This test not only provides a safe and accurate diagnosis, but also guide professionals in creating personalized measurement strategies, helping reduce risk and improve the quality of life for those with food allergies. Knowing about our allergy is just the first step. The next is learning how to prevent and manage reactions safely. A key measure is to read food levels carefully, watching for hidden ingredients that might trigger a reaction. It's also important to avoid cross-contamination during food preparation, such as using separate utensils or cleaning surface after handling allergenic food. Another crucial step is having a personalized action plan. This includes recognizing illnesses of a reaction, knowing when to use emergency medication, such as an epinephrine auto-injector, and ensuring that family, friends, or co-workers know how to respond. We can also incorporate safe habits into daily life, like planning meals outside the home, informing restaurants about all allergy, and keeping a list of allowing and restricted food. This strategy allows us to enjoy food safely and conveniently, reducing risk and promoting peace of mind in daily life. Today, we discovered that food allergy are not a simple incontinence but complex and fascinating responses of our human system. Understanding how our body works gives us the tools to prevent risks, make safe choices, and enjoy food with peace of mind. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep exploring the science behind food, like, share, subscribe, and join me in more scientific discoveries. Here on your space, Kimi Kenda con la Doctora Bere. Bye bye, Kimi Lovers.